So I've been asked here um, how the body knows not to move that extra foot or two uh, during sleep. Now, how is it we don't fall out of the bed, basically, I think is the, the question. Um, so, uh, interesting, is that we do move around, of course, uh, when we're asleep. Um, we move around a fair bit, but when you think about it, our movements during the night are very, very tiny compared with all the movements we have during the day. Sure, we turn over, we move around, our legs twitch, uh, and so on, but the movements are fairly limited. But one of the things we have to bear in mind uh, is that, think of a sleepwalker. A sleepwalker does move around like somebody who's you know, a waking person, although they're still partly asleep, but they generally don't fall over. And what does that tell us? It tells us we don't need to be awake to be able to walk. And equally, we don't need to be awake to realise that we might fall out of the bed. It's not a conscious thing. It's something that our own body receptors, the kinesthetics of our body, recognise our position in space. I know where my arms are at the moment. I don't have to look at them to see that. Uh, I don't even have to be conscious to see that. So I think it's just part of a natural process that we're able to sleep and to move. It stops us getting pressure sores and all these kinds of things. Different stages of sleep, we might move a little bit more in some stages of sleep. During dreaming sleep, we hardly move at all. And during most phases of sleep, we don't actually fall out of the bed. And I think that's the reason. Thanks for the question.